we got our work cut out for us. Uh, you've, heard, you've heard the charge. We've got to implement all of the apps. We've got to be an example for the rest of the world how to get along together and actually do well together. And I have to remind you, you have to be the best, the very best amongst us. You've got to be mindful all the time. Next year, we want every hospital to have implemented all the apps. Imagine that. If you ask the four hospitals who already have, and I urge you to do so, they can tell you there's no reason it can't be done. As we draw closer to 2020, I know it looks more daunting to get to zero, but you've heard from the patient advocates. They want zero. We need zero. And you know what? Let's give it our all. So if we haven't reached it, we will not have regrets. Ah. <sighs> I've said so much, I don't know what to say anymore, but all I want to say is let's take some risks together. Let's work together to see if we can't get aligned incentives and transparency as part of the laws of our lands. It's not that risky. We've seen it work. And if, look, I know people are afraid of change. In, in our country, when they were talking about the Affordable Care Act, everybody was against it. Now when the new group came in, they want to get rid of it, everybody's against that. People are afraid of change, but change is good. Change is survival. Taking risk is survival. So please reach out to your associations, especially your hospital associations. Tell them this is a good thing. And if we can reach zero, we can save a lot of money. We can make our hospitals more efficient. There is not one apps that we have that not only saves lives, but saves money. So please. Don't be afraid. Reject the tyranny of apathy. Embrace action out of kindness. And I'm glad President Clinton liked this statement. But yes, to err is human, but to not put processes in place is inhumane. So please, you've got to lead us to zero. You've got to take leadership. And don't let hope be the only thing we have. Let's plan for zero. Thank you so much for your attention. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the hard work you do till we get here, and the work is just beginning. But for the next few hours, let's go have some fun. We've got a great dinner, Taste of Laguna, tonight. And we have uh, Belinda Carlisle, who I know most of you grew up with, like me, the Go-Go's, who's going to be performing incredible entertainment for us all tonight to inspire us to go, go. All right. So thank you. See you at the party.